Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, checking out another gun which you'll be able to find in Battlefield 1. And today's video is a bit special as I'll be covering one of the elite class weapons in the game, the MG0815, which just so happened to be Germany's most common machine gun by far during the Great War. The automatic MG0815, complete with its own bipod, pistol grip and shoulder stock, was a more portable, infantry friendly design of the original stationary MG08 machine gun, which would have been fixed to a sledge mount or vehicle and used for defensive purposes. Weighing in at about 20 kilograms, it was a lot lighter and more manageable to wield than the MG08 that came before it, but the weapon was still, nevertheless, a pretty bulky thing to hold and use effectively on the go. And although the gun was designed to be a more mobile solution, it still usually had to be manned by a small, specially trained crew of about four members whilst in a prone position. Let's just say that it was a pretty complex piece of technology, despite being a fairly average performer. Utilising the same belt feed system as its predecessor, the MG0815 was chambered for the 8mm Mauser cartridge, and it could hold quite a lot of them, with drums holding up to 200 rounds at a time, allowing the user to suppress the enemy and lay down huge volumes of fire. And to counter the problem of overheating, the MG0815 had its very own water-cooled jacket fitted around the barrel, and so the water it contained would boil off a lot of that generated heat, allowing it to fire for a longer amount of time. So with the rise of automatic weapons during the Great War, pretty much every nation tried to develop portable, light machine guns to use alongside their otherwise stationary mounted weapons. The idea of having a gun with that same devastating suppressive firepower of a heavy mounted weapon, which could be picked up and carried by infantry to new vantage points, seemed like a huge step up in technology, allowing for some new assault tactics for attacking enemy positions. Many countries' weapon manufacturers chose to build these LMG weapons from scratch, though the Germans decided to modify their already existing MG08, a weapon which was heavily based on the Maxim machine gun made in the late 19th century. These changes included cutting down the size of the receiver, along with giving it a smaller cooling jacket, which would hold less water, but generally make the gun lighter in the process. The new MG0815 was issued to soldiers pretty late on in the war, though it actually went on to be Germany's primary LMG for many years to come. But although the MG0815 did meet the demands for what the army needed, the gun still wasn't exactly the most effective or easy thing to operate, as soldiers had to go through a lot of daily training and routines just to use it, despite the gun often being perceived as a really average, bog-standard weapon. With the MG0815 being an LMG, it's going to have quite a lot in common with the support weapons, so I'll mainly be comparing it to those throughout the guide, and one stat in particular which it shares with a few of the other support guns is damage output. With a maximum of 23 up to the range of 11 meters and a minimum of 17.5 beyond 42 meters, the 0815 has the very same damage readings as both the Madsen and the MG15NA, so it's going to be able to drop an enemy player in the same amount of bullets, 5 up to 30 meters and 6 further away. This is pretty similar to most of the other LMGs, as despite some of them, like the Browning Rifle, having a slightly higher minimum damage value, it's still generally going to equate to the same amount of bullets to kill. Though of course, the Show Show is still going to wipe the floor with all of the base game support guns in the damage department. The 0815 can deliver a bit more damage over distance than a couple of the other LMGs like the Lewis Gun and the Hewitt Automatic, as you'll need to land an extra bullet to kill with those weapons beyond 38 meters. So this is going to make the 0815 a slightly deadlier gun to use at those longer ranges. When it comes to speed, the MG0815 definitely isn't going to knock your socks off, as it's only going to fire at a measly 430 RPM, which is one of the lowest LMG speeds in the game. It's still 20% faster than the Shosho, firing 60 RPM quicker, but considering the Shosho can kill in less bullets, it's still going to have better kill times. In fact, at close to medium ranges, pretty much all of the support guns are going to be able to kill quicker than the 0815. So despite being an elite weapon, don't expect it to be able to cut down targets quite as swiftly. Even though its fire rate isn't very impressive, the gun does however have a very fast muzzle velocity, with its bullets reaching the speed of 870 meters per second, the same bullet travel speed as the MG15. This is going to make it easier to lead targets over distance, as you're not really going to have to compensate very much for the time it takes for your rounds to travel through the air, 
making it more of a question of just pointing directly at your target and opening fire. With a deploy time of 1.25 seconds, this is a fairly normal kind of speed to the other LMGs in the game, as despite being called light machine guns, they are a lot heavier than most other weapons, reflecting on their mobility. Though with the Elite Sentry class having no gadgets or secondary weapons to speak of, deploy time isn't really going to be a very important stat to keep in mind, as apart from using your club for melee attacks, the 0815 will be readied at all times. One of the most interesting features about the gun is the fact that it can only be fired from the hip, but even though you won't be able to gain any extra accuracy from aiming down sights, the OA-15 is still generally going to perform pretty well regardless when it comes to precision. The actual recoil pattern for the LMG is quite low, and it's only going to be slightly less stable than the Lewis gun optical, with a vertical kick of 0.28 and a horizontal drift of 0.15. Of course, it might seem less accurate because of the fact that you can't ADS, and the gun's still going to play out in a similar way to the support guns, with spread decreasing over time, becoming more accurate with prolonged fire. The 0815's first few shots are also going to seem slightly more exaggerated than normal, as it's got a higher first shot multiplier of 2.5 times, meaning that tap and burst firing the gun is going to be a bad idea in most situations, and it's almost always best to just hold down the trigger instead. Fortunately for the 0815, it's granted with the extremely low hip fire spread values of 0.4 when both standing and moving, so although you're not going to have the ability to aim down sight, and you can only zoom the camera in to require a better view of your target, hip fire accuracy is going to be a hell of a lot better than all of the other LMGs, including the trench variants, making the need for an option to aim down sights irrelevant. Probably the most notable aspect of the MG0815 is the fact that you'll very rarely need to reload, as being the belt fed weapon that it is, you'll be able to carry some pretty hefty drum mags containing up to 200 rounds each all the better for mowing down squads of enemies as they enter your line of sight. This is going to help you out quite a lot, as the weapon is designed with suppression in mind rather than pinpoint precision, and with the first few shots of the gun being inaccurate anyway, which are likely to miss, having a large ammo capacity will ensure that you can keep on shooting for longer, and provide a steady stream of death to take down your targets. Though there is a bit of a trade off to having those massive drums, as it's going to take quite a long time to reload them should you need to. Tactical and empty reloads are both going to take 5.8 seconds to perform, which is a lot longer than most of the other guns in the game, and because you don't have any secondary weapons or gadgets to back you up once your ammo is depleted, you'll be in a very vulnerable position if you happen to get caught out at the wrong time. So even though you've probably got enough ammo to take on the entire enemy team, it's always better to keep an eye on your ammo counts, and seek down safe hiding spots behind cover whenever you need to swap those drums over. So, in conclusion, although the MG0815 is an elite sentry weapon, it's most comparable to the support guns, being an LMG, and so it functions in a similar sort of way with similar sort of stats. Considering it's one of the slowest firing light machine guns in the game, the 0815 doesn't really have a particularly high damage output, giving it a fairly sluggish time to kill over most distances. With that said, although it can only be aimed from the hip, the gun does have some pretty impressive accuracy readings, as it's not only got a very manageable recoil pattern, but it's also got a very low amount of hip fire spread, complemented by a speedy muzzle velocity too, meaning you can essentially march around the map and just tear through infantry one player at a time whilst on the go. Though because the gun's got such a strong first shot multiplier, and down to how its first few shots have a much higher spread, this means that you won't be able to reach full accuracy straight away thus limiting its overall effectiveness. Having such a huge ammo capacity, the MG0815 is capable of dropping lots of plays easily, without the need to reload in between. Though because it's got one of the longest reload times in the game, you're still usually best sticking to cover and swapping those drums over whenever you're in a safe place, as you've literally got no other gun to defend yourself if you've got an empty belt and shit hits the fan. Despite looking like an absolute beast, the MG0815 isn't actually a very powerful weapon, and without all that extra armour to pad out your health, you probably wouldn't really stand much of a chance in most gunfights. Though because you can withstand a lot more hits than normal, this makes the gun a lot more viable, and with tons of ammo to play around with, along with that very accurate prolonged hip fire, picking up the 0815 will essentially turn you into a World War 1 Rambo, making you a very dangerous opponent to be up against in most battles. So that's it for another one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, 
Give me a like if you did, and subscribe for all that fresh content. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you in our next episode.